Hey there everyone, in this video, we will be covering the new exploration mechanics for the 3.4 map. We will also be examining the different statue buffs and determine which upgrades are going to be the priority. For starters, let's have a quick look at the new area. This is the entirety of the map and although it might look as small as the 3.3 map, there's actually plenty of room to explore. Now, there are two important things that you need to know about the new area. First is that it will be covered in a very thick fog blocking 80% of our vision. Second is the harsh weather that can cause frostbite. In this new map, if you stay too long out in the open, the cold temperature will eventually get to you which can cause your character to freeze to death, so good luck exploring like this. The only way to bypass these problems, or should I say a part of them, is to follow and complete the main storyline. In the story you will be tasked to fire up this thing called Skybernace, which will help disperse a little bit of the fog around you. Anyways, here's some photos showing the flow of the quest. First, there will be a meeting held on the Marshville Mansion, then you will head to the location where the Skybernace is. You and the team will then wake it up from its very long slumber. Once activated, the Skyburn Pillar will provide heat to wanderers fending off the cold and dissipating the fog around you. But in order for the Skyburn Pillar to have an effect on the whole map, you must follow the main quest for just a little bit more. You will have to manually activate three of the Skyburn Pillars and their switches will be on the back of three alabaster statues. After that, exploration will be a bit easier and you can finally roam around the area as you please. Next we'll go a little bit more into detail about the frostbite. While the skyburn pillars do help in fighting the cold, its effect won't be that strong at first so you'll actually have to rely on other methods to keep yourself warm. The very effective way for this is to find yourself a bonfire and rest there for a couple of seconds until you no longer feel the cold. There are markers for them on the map and you can even teleport to them once you've already been to that specific bonfire. If you ever come across an unlit bonfire, just grab your flint and steel to light that bad boy up. According to the Skyburn Pillar's description, astral monuments and observatories also work as heaters. But the most important piece of information here is that the pillar's heating function can be enhanced by upgrading a certain statue. With that said, let's move on to the overview of the statue upgrades. At number one priority, we have Alabaster Statue Shen, that helps in countering the cold. At levels 2, 4, and 5 it will upgrade the Skyburn Pillar's heating function, and at level 6 it will even grant us complete immunity to the icy cold, as long as we're inside an activated Astral Monument's range. As a bonus, we will also be able to see the locations of elite mobs on our map. Next in line is Alabaster Statue B. If you want to make exploration a little bit easier, then maxing out this statue next to Shen is highly recommended. At levels 4 and 6 we get the usual enhanced senses for sniffing out chests and field energies. Then we have Alabaster Statue Z. Plain and simple, when you upgrade this statue, you will get buffs to your frost attack and increased damage against bosses. Might sound appealing to the world boss hunters, but then again remember that the Shen statue still takes top priority. Finally there's Alabaster Statue Mao, that will open up the second lock to the Field of Execution Milestone Rewards. 
I thoroughly explained this new mode on my previous video, but here's a TLDR for those who haven't watched it. Basically Xingqian will be relocated to a locked area, and the way to break the force field locking him in is to contribute some materials to the field of execution headquarters. The progress tracker is shared among the whole server, and once you reach a certain milestone there are corresponding rewards. That is where this statue will come in. The thing is you won't be able to grab those not so important rewards unless you upgrade this statue. However do take note that getting the progress bar to 100% will take a very long time, so upgrading this statue can actually wait until you've maxed out the other three, 